if you want to keep your putting skills sharp this winter, then you probably need this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. And even though it's bright outside right now, it is cold. The temperature is 30 degrees. And tomorrow we are predicted to have snow, which is crazy. It'll be the first snowfall of the year, which is why something like this little guy is such a welcome addition because you don't have to let your putting game and your golf game go to heck while the weather turns bad. And so you can putt all winter long. And as a kid, I just had like some old industrial carpet. And I just put it on that, but it meant when the spring came around, I was a putting maniac. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't good at the rest of the game, but I could putt. Now you can putt all winter long and keep your skills sharp. You know what I'm saying? So let's get this thing unboxed and check it out. So this is the Hamity Putting Green. And as you can see here, it's wooden and it looks very premium. And yet I don't think you'll pay the same premium price that you will for others in this category. And so if you want to have something that is display worthy, right? You can put it out in your living room like this, leave it out all the time, put some balls when your buddies are over. You can always have it ready, you know, way nicer than some of the cheaper plastic ones or, you know, even the ones I used to use, which were like just those plastic fake golf holes that you would put on carpet. So comes out just like that, man. All wrapped in a plastic and bubble wrap. So let's get this unwrapped. And then we get these four little pieces here. This piece will go on the back right here to keep the ball from traveling OB. And then the tracks will lay right down here and they're numbered one, two, two. So I think the twos will go in the middle and then the one will be the last track. And they do seem to be magnetic. So they just kind of snap together just like that. It'll hold that in place. And if they don't go together, you've got the poles wrong. So just flip it over and then they will snap together just like that. And that's it. All right. Doesn't take but a minute to set this guy up here. First of all, I want to show you a few things before we go ahead and putt with it for the first time. It is about nine feet long. You can see the eight there, seven, six, and so on. So eight, eight and a half feet long there. And what I like about that is even though then the one foot mark would be right here, what you have is effectively a flat seven foot long putting mat. And why I like that is because on many of these, to get the ball to return, you have to put up this little ramp here. So if you really wanted to just putt and learn to lag, you could definitely figure that out for seven, eight foot putts. And I think that's really important because inside a two, three feet, I don't think a lot of people have problems. But what happens is between three and 10 feet, most guys can put it close, but they're always like, oh, so close. But you really need to make some of those putts and practicing a five foot putt, a six foot putt is not super easy in your home. And so this allows you to do that and really get that lag for five, six, seven feet. And I think that is going to pay many dividends out on the golf course. The other thing I want to show you here is that this material here, this little turf material is really plush. I mean, it's actually a bit more plush than some of the other mats. And I like that because then the stem to me is a little bit more accurate than some of these mats, which are almost like a felt or a fabric and they tend to putt really, really quick. And so something like this, I think is going to be a little bit more, at least representative of the greens that I have around here, which tend to be a little slower, you know, an eight or a nine step, you know what I'm saying? And so I really like that. Now we've got two holes here, kind of a regulation hole and then a much smaller hole right there. And you can see that they would drop in here, exit out to this side, roll down there. I will say that down here, instead of a little turn, the balls could potentially just roll off the back. So you'd have to grab it from here, but that doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. I also like the fact that it's pretty narrow. So maybe it's only like 11 or 12 inches wide. And so it's going to fit pretty much anywhere. And even though I've just rolled this out and you can see some creases there, they're not bad. And I think if you were to get like a spray bottle of water and put a little water on those and then put maybe a book or something to flatten them down. Over time, they're going to flatten out, but because I want to start putting with this right away, we're going to putt through those, baby. So I got some tit lice prov one golf balls out. So let's start putting. All right. 
it's always a little nerve wracking to putt in front of people here. But the one thing I want to try here is just see if I can get a read for how fast this mat is. So I'm on the eight foot mark and I'm going to try to putt it to the two foot mark, which should be a six foot putt. And so I want to just see here if my six foot putt in the real world, basically the stroke I would use to make a six foot putt translates into about six feet here. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm just kind of curious if it'll translate to a pretty similar distance. <laughs> and obviously a little crease right at the two foot where it was set up, but that looks just about right. Even if it had rolled a few inches long, I would have been perfectly happy with that. Just try it again here. Try it a little higher up on the uh, pad so I don't get the same one. But, yep, just a little bit fat on that one. But basically, this is the putt. If I'm reading six feet, this is the putt I will make. So, what I love about that is, again, the stamp, the speed, the material here seems to replicate the greens around here pretty good for me. So, I know that if I'm practicing that putt here on this mat, that should translate to kind of the courses I'm playing. All right, so now what I wanna do here is see if I can hold some of these out. And I'm going to play these basically like a 10 foot putt because I'm hitting them from about eight feet and I need them to go up that ramp and the play it just like I would if this were a nine and a half, 10 foot putt. Oh, and I guess I'm gonna play it like a 10 foot putt because that was just a little short of a hole. Let's do it again. Boom, dropped it in there. So I would say that if you put it on the eight foot mark here, even though it is eight feet, right, you still have to make it up that ramp. To me, it takes just about the energy of a 10 foot putt. Oh, dialed in, baby. Love it. Good. This is awesome, man. Let's try for the smaller one. I'm not sure I'm feeling the accuracy, but let's give it a try. Oh, pulled it just a little bit. Kind of filtered down to the big hole. Looks like I'm going to have to hug that outer edge just because of the way the mat is, or it's my floor. Here's my floor, but man, I am going to definitely keep my game on target this winter with this guy. Hey, if you want to pick up the Camity putting mat so that your putting stays sharp all winter long and you're ready for the spring, so that you can show your guys how to drain putts, give them a free lesson, you know, say, hey, here's a free lesson, and then drain one from 10 feet out. I love this. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.